Welcome to the Creative Puxa. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create the matrix effect in Affinity Photo. We'll be creating the famous matrix code look from the movie. First, go to File, New. Go to Web and select the FHD 1080p document. Then click Create. In the Layers panel, click the Add Pixel Layer to add a new layer. Go to the Swatches panel and double-click the Fill Color to bring up the Color Chooser. Enter the following hex code number. 003B00. Next, go to the edit menu and select Fill with Primary Color. Grab the Paint Burst tool from the Tools panel. Go to the Swatches panel and enter the following hex code number 0E0409. Next, click on the Add Pixel Layer icon to add a new layer. Then, go to the Brushes panel. In the basic brushes, select the round light brush. Make sure the opacity is at 100%. Select the new pixel layer. Take the brush and paint the top part and the bottom part of the layer, and add some to the sides. These pixel layers will be the overlay for the matrix code. Turn both of these layers off for now. Now let's set up the number grid for the matrix effect. Press Ctrl and the apostrophe key, or go to the view menu and click Show Grid. Then go to the View menu and select Grid and Access Manager. Set the mode to Basic. Next, set the spacing to 20 pixels. Leave the division to 1 since we won't be needing any subdivisions in the grid. You can set the grid lines to different colors if you want. Now grab the Artistic Text tool from the Tools panel. Click on the document. Start typing 1s and zeros in random order until you reach the right side of the document. Select the numbers, then go to the context toolbar and set the font size to 20 points. Place the text in the top left corner of the document. Grab the move tool. Press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the numbers next to the original ones. Make sure there's no space between the two layers. Then press Ctrl and J multiple times until it reaches the other end of the document. Delete any extra numbers that went over the document. After that, select all of the numbers. Press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of these numbers beneath the original ones. Then, press Ctrl and J multiple times until the document is filled with the numbers. Select all of the number layers. Go to the Swatches panel and change the color of the numbers to the following hex code number, 008500. Then, press Ctrl and G to group the layers together and label it Matrix Code or go to the View menu and uncheck Show Grid. Next, go to File Open and select the image of the man you downloaded. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the mode to Add and check the Snap to Edges box. Take the tool and make a selection of the man. Press the Alt key and select the area between the man's raised hand by his face to remove it from the selection. Also, press the Alt key and go over any other areas that don't belong in the selection. When you're finished, press Ctrl and J to place a copy of the man onto a new layer. Press Ctrl and click the thumbnail of the new layer we added. Next, click the Adjustments icon and select the black and white adjustment. Set the cyan to 130%, blue to 80%, and magenta to 75%. Drag it inside of the man layer. In the Layers panel, click the Man Layer, right-click on it and click Rasterize. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Copy the layer and paste it onto the other document. Click the Lock Aspect Ratio icon in the Transform panel. Grab the Move tool and resize the man the way you see it on the screen. With the man still selected, go to the Filters menu. Go to Distort Pixelate. Set the quantization to 20 pixels. Press Ctrl and click the thumbnail of the man in the Layers panel. Then click the Adjustments icon and select Posterize. The Posterize level should be set to 4. Drag the adjustment into the man layer. This will reduce the number of colors in the man layer. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Change the Blend Mode to Multiply. With the man layer still selected, click the FX Layers Effect icon in the Layers panel. Check the outer glow box and select it. Go to color. Select the RGB hex sliders and enter the following hex code number. 
1F5D22. Then set the radius to 15 pixels and the intensity to 20%. By default, the blend mode should be set to screen and the opacity at 100%. Check the scale with object box. Now, select the matrix code layer. Right click on it and select rasterize. Click the mask layer icon in the layers panel. Next, grab the paintbrush tool from the tools panel. In the swatches panel, set the fill color to black and set the secondary color to white. Press the left bracket key to decrease the brush size and the right bracket key to increase the brush size. Select the mask layer we added. Then take the brush and mask out all of the codes surrounding the man. In the layers panel, turn the two color filled pixel layers back on. Go to File Open and drag the image of the matrix code onto the document. Place this layer between the matrix code layer and the second pixel layer we added in the layers panel. Grab the Move tool and resize the image the way you see it on the screen. With the image layer still selected, check the Live Filters icon and select Fill Blur. Make sure it's inside of the image layer. Set the global radius to 30 pixels and lower the opacity of the matrix image to 50%. Select the image layer of the code and press Ctrl and J to duplicate it. Change the blend mode to lighten and the opacity to 60%. Open up the fill blur filter inside of this layer. Set the global radius to 20 pixels and the selected handle level to 70%. Now grab the move tool and resize the image making it slightly smaller and rearrange it some. Now press Ctrl and J to duplicate the code image again. Change the blend mode to screen and lower the opacity to 55%. Open the fill blur filter. Set the global radius to 7 pixels and the selected handle level to 30%. Grab the move tool and make the image slightly smaller and rearrange it the way you see it on the screen. In the layers panel, select the three code image layers along with the two pixel layers we added at the beginning. Press Ctrl and G to group these layers together and label the group background. And this is how to create a matrix effect in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.